Hey my loves and welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on my video. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back again to listen to me talk. <laughs> so today I wanted to talk about manifestation, main character energy, how to really get in alignment with positivity. Because we are in a time where it is very negative, unfortunately. I'm seeing a lot and I actually, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I've been on this whole like alcohol thing, this meat eating thing, because a lot of people don't know like health is really well. Health is so important. When you are talking about manifestation, you have to understand. First of all, excuse this mess because I'm in my office right now and I'm in the process of creating my workspace. So it looks crazy. But anyway, <laughs> when you are talking about manifestation, you have to understand that you have to have the proper environment to manifest. And what I mean by that is mind, body, and spirit has to be in alignment. At least that's what I feel somebody else might think something else but this is just what I feel when you are healthy when you are eating right working out exercising drinking your water it sounds like a lot I know a lot of people make you know little jokes like how do I have time to do all this stuff in the day but listen you make time for what you want to make time for I will say that again you make time for what you want to make time for so like I said I personally put my health on the forefront. That is something that does not get thrown to the side, especially me being the way that I used to be a long time ago, I was almost 200 pounds. I knew that, hey, something had to change. I was noticing a pattern and things had to change for myself. When you talk about your mentality, in your state of mind, honey, that's very important when you talk about manifestation. Because you are not going to be able to manifest anything for yourself if you don't have a positive mindset. So I'll give you an example. I used to be in the military and I was in school. One, the military is a very, very stressful environment. <laughs> school is a very, very stressful environment. How can you manifest anything for yourself if you have a very stressful and negative mindset? I will only speak for what worked for me. I can only speak for myself on this channel. This is my channel and I can only speak from my experience. So what I will say is that when I was going through my past challenges and things that I was being faced with, I kind of realized like I was coming through a crossroad where there were a lot of things that I was going to have to shave off or get rid of if I wanted to progress or if I wanted to level up. So me personally, I knew, okay, hmm, military is making me negative. Hmm, school is making me stress negative. <laughs> Let's do away with them both, okay? That right there within itself is going to give you more power and energy to then manifest and put forth in the universe what you want to put forth. Okay, so when we're going to these institutions, when we're going to these various places, workplaces, wherever, and we are dwindling away our energy because that's what you do when you're working for someone else. You're giving them your time, your energy to work for them. You say, hey, I'm going to clock in at 9 o'clock. I'm going to do what I got to do here for y'all. And then I'm gonna clock out. And then you go on about your day. But me personally, I started to realize the military was taking up a lot of my time, a lot of, a lot of my headspace, because headspace is also a thing too, right? But school was also taking a big chunk of my time. It's like at the end of the day, I would look like, okay, I just left work, now I gotta go to class, and I had like no time for myself. I had no time for visiting gyms. I had no time for anything. I barely had time for my boyfriend. So it's like, we have to make time for what we want to make time for. When it all came down to it, I got rid of those two things, and I started to journal, honey. Get y'all some journals, get y'all some notebooks. This right here is like my manifestation journal for my business. I have various different notebooks and journals and I write in all of them, I promise you. This one is for like these and gems, new products, ideas, networking, marketing, TikTok ideas, Instagram real ideas. I mean, everything that you can ever think for a business is in this freaking book. This is like my order book right here where I write all my orders. I manifest how many orders I want in a month, how many orders I want in a week, how many sales I want, how many website views I want. What you will find is the more detailed you get with these things, 
they will come into fruition. You have to be very, very detailed. Even when I went through this house and me and Josh, we toured this house. I mean, we manifested everything. So a little backstory. I actually toured another house that I liked before this one and I thought I liked it. It was a very nice house compared to this one, no. But I didn't see this one before so I thought that it was a very nice house. I thought I wanted to stay there and I was casually just going through the house and I was like, okay, I can see me and Josh and the dogs here in this house. But as far as like actually getting in detail, I did it and I didn't get that house. When I went through this house, when we toured this house together, I talked about where my herbs were gonna go. I talked about what rooms were gonna be what. I knew what room was gonna be the office room. I knew what room was gonna be the yoga zen room. I knew what room was gonna be my room, how I was gonna decorate it, what colors I was gonna have. Where was I gonna put certain canvases? What kind of chair was I gonna have? What type, of, what type of sofa was I gonna have? And I did that with my first apartment. I don't know why I didn't do that with that first house, but everything happens the way it does because I'm in love with this house. I really honestly am so grateful for this home, honey. We really manifested this house all through what the power of the tongue, how we were, going through this home and saying, you know, we're gonna put this here and we're gonna do this and the dogs are gonna be running in the backyard and we're gonna do this on the patio. And we're gonna literally top to bottom, left to right, this whole house. I talked about what color I was gonna paint it. I talked about how I was gonna do the kitchen. And when I tell you I literally did the kitchen like that, I did the kitchen exactly how I pictured it in my mind when I toured this home. And it's like the universe will look at that and they will see that and they will be like, dang, you know what? They serious. Let's go ahead and give it to them. <laughs> I'm not talking to you, Siri. So positive mindset, positive environment, detail, journaling. Like I cannot tell you how powerful law of scripting is. I didn't talk about this law when I did um, universal laws a while ago, but I think I need to do a video for law of scripting because it's so, so important when you talk about manifesting to write stuff down. When I say not even just, I want this and I see myself having this, no. I'm talking, how are you gonna do it? What is it gonna look like? What are you gonna put in it? What are you gonna, when people want a car, what, can you see yourself driving in it? What are you gonna put um, on the steering wheel? How are you gonna, you know, decorate it if you want? You gonna put lights in the thing? Like, let me know, you are gonna change the rims? You are gonna change whatever? Write it, say it, and then mean it. You have to have the energy and the power behind that. I will be writing about this house in my journal and literally getting goosebumps. And I was like, you know what? This is my house. Like I, I started saying this was my house. I would drive up to the house and be like, oh yeah, this is my house. Like, and the lady, she was so cool with it. She was like, yeah, 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 come on. The universe is so beautiful. Why the first morning me and Josh woke up in this house? We wanted waffles so bad. We was craving vegan waffles, especially me. I love vegan waffles. That's like my favorite thing. Vegan waffles, vegan pancakes, I love it. And I was like, but damn babe, I'm gonna have to go get a waffle maker. I don't even know how this happened, but baby went in the kitchen, opened the cabinet. Why was it a waffle maker? In the cabinet. And people gonna say that's a coincidence, whatever, but listen. The universe knows, the universe listens, the universe sees everything, they, they hear you, okay? So when you're manifesting stuff, be for real about it. They're gonna hear you, they're gonna see you, they're gonna listen. A lot of people like to keep stuff inside. Say it out loud, go out, talk outside, that's what I used to do. I used to go outside, talk to the night sky, talk to the stars. People might look at you like you're crazy, but listen, they're gonna look at you like you're crazy and you're a new car, you're a new house, you got your new job, whatever, and you're a new business, whoever. I don't know, I don't care, manifest it. Main character energy. Start putting yourself in these positions and talking like you already got it. Start putting yourself in these environments and talking like you already got it. That's all you have to do and putting the energy that flows with it. Positive things happen to positive people. Okay, if you're negative, it's kind of hard for positivity to come through, okay? When we're complaining, when we're bogged down, we're human, I get it, I catch myself complaining. My freaking ring light broke today. I started cussing, I had a fit, I threw it, and I said, you know what, why am I tripping? <laughs> why am I tripping? I'm gonna get another one. I'm gonna get Brad to get another one. Like, 
money come and go, things break, you know, things die. It's inevitably a part of life. Why am I about to get so upset and be negative and get feed that frequency, feed that energy when I don't have to? Like I said, I know that's easier said than done, but honey, start somewhere. Even if it's changing your job. If you're negative and you and you feel yourself complaining when you're nagging when you go to this place of work, get rid of it. Start start looking for a solution. Don't keep harping on the problem. Do not keep harping on the problem. The universe is not like that. Because they're like, okay, you got a problem just like anybody else in this universe. So what are you gonna do to fix your problem? A solution. And there's all like nine times out of ten, there is always no ten times out of ten, there's always a solution. Always. Always, always, always. People have been asking me so many questions and I'm manifesting something for y'all, honey, listen. I am starting to get a lot of DMs on IG. If you don't follow me already, please be sure to do so. At that girl Vani. And follow me on my business page. I craft beautiful herbal tea blends, herbal oils, honey. I got herbal supplements, crystal necklaces. I mean, styles, like, ugh. And we are growing. We are growing every day, y'all. And thank you so much for 1,046 IG followers. We talk, we got about 20, what, 25K, I wanna say, <sighs> but y'all, we are growing every day. The Vibe Tribe is getting big. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my email newsletter on my website, beautyhiddengems.com. You can learn all the secret discount codes, okay? I do secret discount codes. Y'all don't know because it's secret. You ain't on the Vibe Tribe. <laughs> you ain't on the Vibe Tribe, you ain't gonna know the secrets. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Much love to you all. I will see you guys next time. Like I said, be sure to hit the subscribe button and tell a friend and tell a friend. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.